Combination Boy Mike Powers, episode 26, Reloaded in the Building, of course, with Big French, your favorite producers, favorite producer, and favorite engineer, and also the Black Widow of Boston, the Boston Baked Bitch, DJ Beans is in the building, and today, a very special guest host, one member of the super fucking group, yes, you know him, 585 Rochester, New York, that's Mav, he's in the building. Let's get it. What's good? Mav, thank you for joining yep. us today. Thank you for joining us, being our guest host, Deuces on Vacation. So, Mav, you stepped in today, and we're honored to have you. You know, the the, the cloth is a movement. You know what I mean? Let me see if I could get all the all the members, right? So, I'm going to start with Mav, because you're on the screen, so I don't forget. This is like Wu-Tang Clan, right? So, Mav, Riggs, <laughs> Mooch, Times Change, Rob Gates, Illinois, who I forget? Steph. Sif. Look them in the eyes, you can see that they terrified. I've been blue checks and I still ain't verified. Listen to the rumors, hate growing like a tumor. All black track suit on with the pumas. Yes. Yep. Yes. Love Sif. What's the newest project y'all got right now? The newest project, um, right now we riding off a of heel in by Riggs. Okay. I've yep, heard some of that. It, um, about a week ago. Y'all definitely need to strap in. Um but what he was, he was dealing with some vocal issues, some oh, issues wow. with his vocal cords. He was still dealing with his herbalist and doing things the way he needed to do them. And he prefers to do them. But at the same time, he was seeing professionals as well in the medical field in regards to strengthening his vocal cords. It's a, it's a project that um, it documents his journey. But at the same time, he still give you that rigs that everybody's come to know and love. And now that segment we like to call The Rundown. <laughs> Hip hop podcast pioneer Taxstone was recently convicted on manslaughter, assault, and weapons possession charges for the May 2016 shooting that left Troy Ave's bodyguard, 33 year old Ronald Banger McFadder, dead. Apparently, Taxstone had an ongoing beef with Troy Ave, and before the concert on the night of May 25th, he is said to have confronted and threatened. Troy Ave and his bodyguard around 10 p.m. in the third floor green room at Irving Plaza. The melee began as a fist fight, but quickly devolved into a shooting. Reports say he, Taxstone, took out a gun and shot McFadder in the chest. The bodyguard was pronounced dead at the hospital. Taxstone, meanwhile, grappled with Troy Ave for control of the gun. During the scuffle, Tax shot Troy in both his legs, according to prosecutors. Another man and woman were also shot during the fight. Tax is scheduled to be sentenced on April 19th, 2023. More on this in a future episode. Side note, I don't trust any man with these first names. Cole, Connor, Gage, Shooter, Tyler, Skyler, Jackson with an X in the middle, Bernard, Jasper, Dudley, Ethan, Baxter, Yates, Palmer, Keaton, Tucker, Aubrey, Vonte, Bob, also Quantavius, Jaquan Day, Orenthal, A-Rab's name Sammy, Chip, Chad, Aiden, Chaz, obviously Dick, Chet, Bryce, Landon, Brock, Carter, Logan, Blaine, Skip, Scooter, Paxton, JT, TJ, AJ. Brandon is cool, but fuck Brendan, Riley, Wyatt, Tanner, Maxwell. Girls named Reagan, since I brought girls into this Let's go with Karen, Chris with the K, Carl with the K, Corey with the K, Kramer with the C or a K, and anybody named Donald followed by the last name Trump. And that's the rundown. And check out this undercover racist struggle to define a word she hates and wrote a whole book about. And consider themselves very liberal. And probably fewer of them consider themselves to be woke. And so, you know, when, when well, we talk about traditional you? Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Well, because it's come up a couple of times that I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is sort of the idea that um, so I, this is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, woke is something that's very hard to define and we've spent an entire chapter defining it. It is sort of the understanding that we need to re -to totally re imagine and re re redo society in order to create hierarchies of oppression. Um, sorry, I, 
it's it's hard to explain in a 15 second soundbite. Yeah, take look, your it, time. First of all, that was I believe Bethany Mandel uh, getting caught with her pants around her ankles using the new right wing buzzword uh, slash pejorative, which is woke. Um, so first, let's talk about and define what the word woke is, since she had such a hard time defining it, even though she wrote a whole book about it, right? So woke is, and I had this conversation with a lot of people on both sides of the fence. When I describe woke to people, I say it's aware, right? And also respectful of these, of maybe this group that I may not be a part of, right? I show them a certain level of respect, right? And so it's like being empathetic. Only thing woke is, is like, for, you understand what the, what's going on because the opposite of being awake is sleep, right? right? And then after that, it's empathy. So I don't, I don't, I don't just recognize the injustice, but I empathize with you. I'm an ally. I'm on your side. That's woke, right? And so it used to be a thing back in the day. And I try to tell people this. And, you know, I, it's, it's, it's white Republicans a lot of times where I have to explain this to that back in the day, somebody would say, that dude ain't woke. Like black people would say, no, that dude ain't woke. And you didn't want to be called not woke, right? It was embarrassing. If you're a black person with pride, it was embarrassing if somebody claimed you wasn't woke. They say, you don't got the knowledge. You're not one of us, right? Only thing you got is the skin color, but up here, you ain't got it, bruh, right? And that would shame us into getting more knowledge and, and knowing more about ourselves and having more pride in ourselves. So this is where the word woke comes from. All of a sudden, the right wing has taken this word and anything that they don't like that's happening, especially coming from a Democrat, they want to call the thing woke. And we will never let the woke left take it away. It's because they're putting woke ideology to a woke mob that can't even tell you what a woman is. Stuff that's not even defined as woke. Let me go to Mav, you know what I mean? Give him the floor as our guest and his thoughts on what he uh, just saw in that clip and this whole debate around the word woke. Being that I only saw a clip, um, you could tell that it was a word that had been used on several different occasions, you know, during the conversation that she was having with the young lady that was doing the interview. And um, I don't see no wrongdoing on the interviewer's part by asking her, hey, listen, just so we're on the same page and you've used this word on a couple of different occasions, define woke. When she couldn't define it, that's, I think that's when the fire was lit right there, because this is a word that she, well, you said she wrote a whole book on it, Yeah. but this is a word, um, a word that she used on several different occasions in the conversation and couldn't even let you know what she meant by it or what it meant to her. So, um, at that point, you know, once the Twitterverse got a hold of it, you already know it. It don't. There. It doesn't even matter because now it's about to take on a totally different life of its own. She lit that fire herself. She she gathered the wood and lit that fire herself, and shit, it got out of control. <laughs> I think they were saying that the other young lady who was interviewing her was trying to shame her, but that wasn't it at all. She uh she fucked around and found out. Um, yes. And, and got and, and really got embarrassed on TV because they've been so. I've gotten the arguments with people face to face on this word, and I'm like, "Yo, you using the word wrong. What you trying to say is woke, is not woke at all." Um, Beans, you got some thoughts on this? Um, I mean, Bethany, she definitely <laughs> fucked up. I mean, <laughs> how could you go into something like that so uneducated? You thought you were just gonna wing it when this has been something so big that somebody like Bethany is now only hearing circulate on fucking Twitter, on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So she she hasn't been aware of what's been going on and she's never heard the word. Mm -hmm. So she probably stopped at first and was like, oh, thinks it's some cool word. Mm -hmm. It's like on fleek. It's mm -hmm. fucking, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, That's oh. how she used it. You know, very simply put, how could you not, and, and 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 Mav's completely right that when the host, she just said, hey, take your time. She would have sat there for two more minutes and let her try to figure it out. 
Beans, I I listed off a bunch of names before. Let me ask you this: Do you, would you trust somebody named Bethany? Would you? Her name's Bethany. I think Beth? her name's Bethany. Bethany. Beth? Beth. Hey, Beth. I don't think you could trust a Beth either. You can't trust a Beth. No. You can't leave me alone in the room with a Beth for ten minutes. I don't want to be with a Beth. It, right, it, it feels uncomfortable. It feels like a white woman saying the N word when it's just the two of you in a room. Like, okay, so do I fuck you up or do we just sit here and? <laughs> And so this word is like, it's, it's, it's sort of like all the other words that like people get confused and misdefined. You, you talk about this thing, Antifa, which Antifa is not a group, right? It's an idea. Antifa is short for anti-fascist, meaning we against fascism. If you look up what fascism is, Google is your friend out there. Now, but they say we against Antifa. That would You for fascism? Like Antifa, anti-fascist. So how can you be against people that's against fascism? Then you for fascism, French? Listen, first of all, Beth is Karen's little sister. Yeah, word. Okay, word. Uh, let's get that out the way. She might be auntie, Beth? Right, like she might be older, so she might be the older sister. Yeah. Beth taught Karen. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you on media using words you don't know the meaning of, two things happen. One, it makes you a smart dummy. And two, that's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. So you're writing books and you're on TV or whatever. So there's a certain populace that fucking believes everything you say because you're on TV and because you write books. Mm -hmm. But being that you're a smart dumbass, that's what makes it dangerous because your influence on, on other people who take what you say at face value and just believe it. Just throwing that word around. Oh, this is woke. That's woke. Yeah, that's woke. And what also what it does, it takes away the value of the word. You know what I'm saying? Being woke is important. Mm. And what she's doing is taking the word and devaluing it. What make it really, really dangerous is you're going to have people on both sides that truly don't understand what woke is. And it's going to come a time where whoever's talking the loudest, even if they say in the wrong shit, those are going to be the ones that people are going to gravitate to, regardless of what they're saying in regards to the term woke. This is sort of like what they did with the word liberal. They did it with the word progressive. Um, they take the, a word that's powerful to a group that they don't like and they change the meaning of it to make it into a pejorative. And they keep saying it over and over and over again. So it used to be a thing about politically correct. I'm not politically correct. Like That was the whole thing. Politically correct only means that I'm basically respecting you in your space, right? So I'm not going to come. Sometimes we say stuff when we're around our people in the house that we don't say outside. Absolutely. And it don't mean that we feel a certain way about X, Y, or Z. It's just the language that we use. But we know enough not to do that in public because we know it's going to offend some people. That's what politically correct is. But somehow along the way, that became a horrible thing, right? And so this is what they're trying to do with the thing woke. So I think the opening salvo in the war against these anti-woke people came in that interview with Bethany when that sister challenged her to define the word and she couldn't do it. Now, that's that tug of war, right? Now we pulling the word back. We exposing you to the light of day. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Now let's go back to defining the word properly and saying what it is and calling you out when you're not fucking woke. We worked so many years, incremental change. I always tell the millennials because they want everything right now. It took time, the 65 voting rights bill, 64 uh, civil rights. I might be getting them years confused, but since then it became harder and harder and harder to use the n-word in public right to say a hey, right nigga over there right you you had to keep it and then they used to start using cold words right then in the 80s they start talking about welfare queens and stuff like buzzwords dog whistles and stuff like that it's language it's language so now we have to identify again those people who oh you're against like empathy you're against uh fair play Equality, that's what you're against when you say, fuck woke. The 
the almighty. Best in the fucking game.